Hi, how's it going? I'm here to give you a little update on the whole pregnancy and birth situation. And as you can see, our baby is in my arms. <laughs> this is Sol. He arrived 10 days early. Um, in a pretty dramatic birth that I'm looking forward to sharing very soon. Um, a lot of it is recorded and I just have to edit it together, but there are big gaps, obviously, because I was busy. <laughs> um, but I'm really looking forward to sharing the story because it's pretty special. In fact, it's magical. This is just to say um, a little welcome to baby Sol. He's doing really well. He's four days old. Today is the first day he got dressed or that I got dressed since he was born and that was only because we had to go to the GP to get his 72 hour check which is um, it's kind of required when you have a home birth uh, in Ireland with the HSE which was unfortunate to have to get dressed and go out you know leave our little nest but it's done now and everything's well but we knew everything was well anyway you know but uh, anyway look it's done and we're back in our little nest now so we can strip off again and just snuggle and do skin to skin again for the next few days because that's just the nicest thing to do with a newborn. Um, so he was seven pounds one ounce when he was born and um, he's been feeding like really well. He's just wants to be feeding all the time, breastfeeding obviously and um, yeah, so that's great because my milk came in kind of yesterday and today and I was worried a little bit about engorgement, but it's been fine because he's feeding so much and that's just great. So he's almost back up to his birth weight. Um, she checked today. So yeah, I just wanted to give you that update. It's, um, it's amazing to be, you know, in the postpartum phase already. Um, yeah, it's just we're just enjoying getting to know this little guy and his big sister and his big brother are delighted. You know, we're having the normal adjustments that you would have uh, when a new little person comes into the family. And I know it takes time and yeah, but we're getting there and he's just beautiful. We're just so happy. I feel really, really grateful to have him in my arms and really grateful for the birth experience that I had that, that I you know that it's that it's an option available here in this country like we're very lucky I know not it's not available in every part of the country but to have that home birth option for a public patient is just amazing and um I just feel really lucky to have a midwife, my midwife calling to me every day now, you know, and just, and just checking everything to make sure how I am physically, you know, emotionally, um, to help with breastfeeding, you know, because even though it's my third baby and it's my third breastfeeding journey, there are just still things you forget and just to be reminded of and just to be, you know, just to be supported and she sometimes will hold him and I go have a shower you know just just little things it's it's just really lovely I feel really really blessed just in general <laughs> so so there we are <laughs> that's an emotional roller coaster but he's amazing and so worth it 